God will always use a man to talk to you and I here. If you ever use me, he will use you. Or he will use another person. It is his choice. He chooses to do that. But without him, God, you and I, we cannot do anything. And this morning, he has prepared a vessel to talk to us. And I want us to welcome that vessel because you don't know that vessel. That person is coming this morning in another capacity. He's coming with an unction. He's coming with a grace. A grace to talk to you. A grace to be the oracle of God to you this morning. I want us with a standing ovation to welcome our pastor. Pastor, pastor and follower. Thank you, thank you very much, Pastor Bebe. Merci, Pastor Bebe. The standing ovation that I don't deserve. Please get us up our seats. <laughs> I'm happy to be here today. I had this meeting so fast. <laughs> and uh, most of that is the case. La plupart des temps c'est le cas. Because it's not easy to stand here. Parce que c'est pas facile de se tenir ici. And to be mouth, God's mouthpiece. Et d'être le porte-parole de Dieu. Most of you are afraid to make mistakes. Vous avez peur de faire des erreurs. But all the mistakes that we do here, tous les erreurs que nous faisons ici, God is taking the glory. Dieu prend la gloire. Hallelujah. I want to appreciate that for the privilege I have to stand here today. Je veux apprécier d'être pour la gloire. Merci de me tenir là. Merci beaucoup. I want to appreciate my elder pastors for giving me the space to. Et c'est nos pasteurs pour me donner la place aussi. And I want to appreciate you all for being there today. Je veux aussi vous apprécier d'être là aujourd'hui. It's another day that the Lord has made. C'est un autre jour que le Seigneur a fait. For us to rejoice and be glad in it. Et de nous réjouir et d'être content cela. Amen. Amen. I'm happy to be here. Je suis content d'être là. And I pray that God will talk to us. Et je prie que Dieu va nous parler. I I want to bring you greetings from my beautiful Holy Spirit. Sorry, sorry, I thought that I was married. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you know, some of us who grew in churches, most of the pastor is standing on your pulpit. Who has come from somewhere. And when they are talking, they will always say, I bring you greetings from my beautiful wife. And my children who could not be here because of some family issues. Et vous savez, à un point, we thought that it was always part of their scripts. On se dit que c'est toujours parti de la écriture. Alléluia. From the beginning of the year, God has been talking to us. Au début de l'année, Dieu a nous parlé. Au début de l'année, And he has been talking to us on the anointing to do good. Il nous a parlé sur l'onction de faire le bien. And our theme of the year has been echoing on every lesson that we have been having. Et notre thème de l'année a eu à toucher toutes les leçons que nous avons eu à faire durant l'année. And by God's grace this morning, et par la grâce de Dieu ce matin, we are going to be reading Matthew chapter 22. Nous allons lire Matthieu chapitre 22, from verse 34 to 40. Du verset 34 à 40. Matthew chapter 22, Matthew 22, from verse 34, verse 34 to 40, 
I'm going to read from here. Je vais lire ici. But when the Pharisees heard that he had silenced the Sadducees, they gathered together. And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law? And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. And a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Amen. 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 You know, from the theme of doing good that we started the year with, and the exegesis of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, that we have been listening, I want us not to get to a level where we begin to feel like we are being pushed to do good. Or we are doing good to please the pastors. We are doing good because that's the song of the day. I want us to have a clear motive of our doing good this year. That's why this morning we are going to be talking on the topic doing good out of love. Et voilà de de l'amour. Doing good out of love. Le bien venant de l'amour. Have we seen cases before? Nous avons vu les cas auparavant. Where people's good gestures or good deeds, ou bien le bon geste des gens, have been rejected, a été rejeté, because of the motives, à cause du motif, or because of the intentions, ou de l'intention. Have we seen cases where? Est-ce que vous avez vu les cas où some people prefer to sleep? Under the rain, que une personne préfère dormir sur la pluie, than to receive house rent from somebody, que de recevoir le loyer de quelqu'un, because they know the intentions of that person, parce qu'ils connaissent l'intention de cette personne. Some people prefer to sleep without eating, d'autres personnes préfèrent de dormir sans manger, than to accept an invitation on the on the king's table, que d'accepter l'invitation de de d'une table d'un roi. Because the intentions are very wrong. Parce que l'intention est très mauvaise. The motives are very evil. Le, les motifs sont très mauvais. Oh, you see a case. Vous voyez un cas. When somebody before he does good, ou une personne avant qu'il ne fasse le bien, he first of all disgraces the other person who is doing good to. He first of all he he reduces that person à qui veut faire ce bien. You know this is brother A. Voici le frère A. I am here today. Il apparaît aujourd'hui. I want to bless him. Je veux le bénir. I want to do a great thing in his life. Je faire des choses grandes dans sa vie. I have the keys either of a car here. J'ai les clés d'une voiture ici. And I want to give him. Et je vais le lui donner. You know this man? Vous connaissez cet homme? He has been suffering. Il a eu à souffrir. Him and his wife. Look at them. Lui et sa femme regardez les. When you look at them, they don't even look like people who have been eating. Quand vous voulez regarder les simples gens qui mangent. I want to bless him. I want to bless him. It is not God who is blessing the brother. En ce moment, c'est pas Dieu qui bénit. I am the one who wants to bless him. C'est c'est moi qui veux bénir. I want to change his life. Je veux changer sa vie. And he's talking and reducing the brother. He parle et il réduit ses frères. And at the end, you know, in his family, he's going to be the first to have a car. Dans sa famille, c'est le premier à avoir une voiture. And I'm the one who is going to change his life. Je suis celui qui va le changer sa vie. Yes. Oui. Are those good deeds? Et ce sont les bons gestes. Yes. Oui. But what are the motives? C'est quoi le motif derrière? What are the intentions? C'est quoi l'intention? Some people help you. D'autres personnes vous aident. When you have already succeeded, quand vous avez déjà réussi, so that pour que they can hang on the praises of those who helped you in your difficult moments. Ils peuvent se tenir sur la gloire des gens qui vous ont aidé dans votre vie. We have been in school. Nous avons été à l'école. I have seen pastors. J'ai vu des pasteurs who have suffered. Qui ont souffert. Pastors who have been driven out of class many times. Les pasteurs qui ont été chassés hors de la classe plusieurs fois. Who have been moving from one kitchen to another to look for food. Qui marchent d'une cuisine à une autre pour chercher de la nourriture. Who have called and written messages to family members and loved ones. Qui ont appelé et écrit des messages aux membres de famille fatigués. And nobody is reacting. Et personne ne réagit. But when graduation is approaching, mais quand la sortie arrive, 
And then Il met la remise de diplôme. Invitations for graduations are out. Les invitations sont toutes sont dehors. Some of them start calling. La plupart d'entre eux commencent à appeler. Ah, I saw your graduation invitation. J'ai vu de, ton invitation. Please just take this 5000 and manage. Pense 5000 et débrouille-toi. Please just take this 10000. Pense 10000. When you don't know can need it. Quand vous n'avez plus besoin de ça. I want you graduate tomorrow. Et quand vous avez eu votre diplôme demain. And you are working. Et vous travaillez. You are not assisting us. Vous ne nous assistez pas. When we were the one who sponsored you in school. Car c'est nous qui vous avons envoyé à l'école. If we were not there, how would you have made it? Si vous n'étiez si nous ne tions pas là, comment est-ce que vous auriez réussi? So they have not helped you. Ils ne vous ont pas aidé.